Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh and Agriculture Minister Zofakar Mustafa accompanied President of the Islamic Development Bank Dr. Mohammed Al Jasser to Takama in the Burbis River. They highlighted the government's efforts to promote a strong non oil economy. As part of the government's crucial role in support of corn and soya bean production, the administration committed over $1.2 billion towards infrastructural development in the Takama area. Following the tour, the Islamic Development Bank stated that Guyana is aspiring to become an El Dorado of crops and halal meat production and export. It said the country is now successfully producing the strategic crops that are necessary for livestock and poultry breeding. Meanwhile, in a statement, the Ministry of Finance noted that Guyana cultivated over 3,000 acres of soya beans and over 1,200 acres of corn in the first half of 2023. Earlier this month, President Dr. Irfan Ali also indicated that government is committed to ensuring that by the end of 2026, Guyana will have 50,000 acres of land cultivated in corn and soya. Guyana's head of state had indicated too that in another three years, Guyana's burgeoning corn and soya bean industry will see over US $40 million in investments that will help catapult the country into self-sufficiency and aid in realizing the Caribbean region's objective of reducing its food import bill by 25% by 2025. Further, government has provided improved access to the area through the construction of 40 kilometers of road and the remaining 7 kilometers scheduled for completion in 2023. A further investment was made by government in a drying and storage facility for corn and soya bean this year to make it the first such facility in Guyana. $150 million was also provided in government's 2023 budget for the construction of a wharf at Takama as part of improving riverine access to the area. Guyana's corn and soya bean project is a collaborative effort between government and a consortium of private developers, namely Guyana Stock Feed Limited, Eden Farms, Bounty Farm Limited, Royal Chicken, SBM Wood, Dubalay Ranch and NF Agriculture, a Brazilian company. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.